Hey class, this is Mr. Wells. In today's video, we're gonna learn about how to make our planisphere. The planisphere is gonna be a helpful tool as we start to do our first nighttime observations. It's basically a guide to the night sky, and what's really cool about planispheres is that you can use them throughout the year. It's gonna tell you what, what stars are out at what times. So at the very beginning of this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this, and it's actually a really simple procedure. So you should have these tools readily available. Um, and so basically what you're gonna need is you're gonna need these two sheets of paper, you're gonna need a plastic transparency. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, brass fastener, thumbtack, and you're gonna need some tape. And so what we're gonna to do to start actually is we're going to cut out along the margin. So you don't wanna make sure you cut inside of it. You don't wanna cut across that line. You just wanna cut all the way on the outside of this document and this one as well. We'll cut around the entire outer circle. All right, so I have these two pieces cut out. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is we gotta cut out the inside of this shaded area. And so there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm not the most arts and craftsy person, so you might even have a better way to do it, but we gotta make sure that we're careful not to mess up any of these words down here or any of the times up on this dial. So my suggestion, what I like to do, is kinda of like poke some holes along the boundary of here with my thumbtack, and then kinda of use that as leverage to cut out the inner part of the circle. But basically the next thing is we're gonna cut out this inner part of the circle and then we'll come back. All right, so I got my window cut out. The next thing that we're gonna do is you wanna fold the planisphere along this black line here. So we'll do that next. Once I have that folded, I'm gonna take my plastic transparency sheet. I'm gonna fix it right up on the top like this. And then what you wanna do is you actually wanna, we're gonna take a marker and we want to draw along the boundary of the planisphere. And the reason that we're doing this is we're actually going to make a cover for the planisphere. And so you can kind of create a rough boundary. You're going to clean this up as you go. And then you're going to cut out the plastic sheet along that boundary that you just created. Okay, so I got this cut out now. So I've got my plastic transparency. Now it's kind of fitted to my planisphere. And so then you can just kind of wipe off the black marker or the marker that you used uh, in order to kind of clean that up a little bit. And then what we want to do, which is the most important part, so I've got that kind of fixed like this. And then I want to open the slot right here and I'm going to take my star wheel. And one thing to note about your star wheel, so this is going to be all of the stars we could possibly see in the night sky throughout the year, uh, all of the major constellations. And what you're going to see in the middle here is this open circle, and that's actually Polaris, the North Star. What we want to do is we want to take the star wheel, and this is going to be really important. So what we want to do here is we want to line these up, fit your star wheel in the folder like that. And then you're going to want to make a series of uh, holes, basically, with your thumbtack. So I, I already kind of did this. I want you to poke a hole through just the back of this, just to line it up. You could also line them all up together, uh, but I think it's safer if we do this kind of one step at a time. Then you want to make sure that you line up this open circle right here where Polaris is. We'll poke a hole through that. So I've got a hole made now through both. And then, now that you know that those are lined up, I'll take my cover I'll fit it back on here and you can make one final hole because you'll want to poke a hole through the cover as well. So we'll take the cover and we'll poke a hole through all three. And in theory, if you did this right, it should go through the back open circle. And then the last step for this is that we'll take our brass thumbtack and you're going to kind of have to push it through everything here. Oops. just like that. And then you can fasten this like this in the back. And that's your completed star chart. The only thing you have to do now is what I would recommend is take some tape, just tape along the margins on the sides here. Clamp those together along the margins. Otherwise it's a little, this cover is a little wobbly. So you wanna kind of fix the cover and the, the three pieces of paper here with tape, and then you'll have a completed star chart.
Okay, so this is my completed star chart. I had to kind of, uh, apparently Mr. Wells struggled to cut between the lines, so I kind of cleaned up. If you have anything that's a little bit frilled, you can kind of cut that around with scissors. Just make sure it kind of evenly. It doesn't have to look perfect. Obviously, mine's not a, a beautiful, beautiful work of art, but I got everything that I need to do here. And so the way that you're going to do this then is when you go outside, what's really amazing about the planisphere is so you've got your time dial across the top here. You've got your date dial across the top here. Now, if you did this right, you should be able to turn this just like so. And so let's say I go out at 10 p.m. And if today's September 20th, what you want to do is you want to line up September 20th with 10 p.m. And then this is really easy to use. It's really cool. Uh, the way that you're going to use it, though, the one trick, and I have instructions, or the, the person who made this, Dominic Ford, he put instructions across the side right here. So uh, if you kind of need to refer back to it, this is how you would use this. But really, in theory, what you're going to do is, or my suggestion would be, is to kind of take your thumb, line it up with the word north, and you have to, if you're, if you're lined up like this with north, you actually have to be pointed in the direction north in order to see the image as it is here. The important thing to note is that this is your celestial sphere, so this is the entire night sky. And so really, you could almost imagine it kind of folded over where this would be pointed north, and all of the stuff on the top here would be to your back. And so really, you only want to look at this in one direction at a time. So if I'm looking to the east, I would take my finger, put it along the word east, line it up in the direction east, and you kind of hold it like that. Same thing if I wanted to look in the south, I would take my finger, I would line that up with the southern horizon, and then you'll see the stars along the southern horizon here. So that's how you're going to use the planisphere. And so the biggest thing that I would practice is just, I mean, you really can only start to learn how to use this with experience. So take this outside at night. Uh, I would start with the north. So again, you got to just hold it with the word like east pointed at the east horizon, west pointed at the western horizon, uh, north pointed at the northern horizon. I would start with north and try to find this guy right here, uh, Ursa Major, which is the Big Dipper. That's probably the easiest constellation to find in the night sky. It should be just above the northern horizon at about 10 o'clock. Remember, you got to line this up first, otherwise you won't be seeing the things that are out at that night. Um, so I would try to find the Big Dipper because that'll give you a sense of perspective as to where everything is. An interesting thing you could try is if you find the Big Dipper, you see this kind of got the handle right here and then the, the cup of the Big Dipper. You can follow these two big bright stars kind of straight up north. Your brass fastener, remember, is on Polaris, which is actually uh, the end of the handle of Ursa Minor, the Little Dipper. So that's a way that you could start piecing together some of the constellations in the night sky. So uh, let me know if you have any questions as far as uh, filling this in. Remember that um, you have instructions, written instructions here too, if you kind of forget what you're doing when you're outside. Make sure that you maybe have some kind of light source so that you can kind of read this, although you don't want to kind of shine that in your face, obviously, because then it'll be kind of hard to see the stars. But let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.